Morning everyone, I hope everyone's well. Um, this morning, I've seen this topic being covered a few times, yeah? I'd like to put my little spill on it. And that is craving stuff that you like. Why does it happen? How can I stop it? All this. Now, first of all, it, in my opinion, craving food has seemed to be quite demonised. Like, it's really bad. Oh, God, I'm craving food, right? If you think there's something wrong with fancying something you like, yeah, then there's something wrong. Yeah? You know, a lot of these people, a lot of plans, they 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 use demonising words, you know, really negative words towards stuff that you might like, that you might crave, like they use sins or points or cheats or things like that, yeah? And then you see, oh, I really want one of them, oh, yeah, but I'm not meant to have it, but now I'm starting to crave it. And it can actually magnify the feeling towards something. Does that make sense? You know, you just think, oh, I really want it, but I shouldn't, but I really, really want it. And there's nothing wrong with wanting something that you fancy. That's why these companies make lovely little packages called Mars bars and stuff. Now, sometimes craving, there's 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 two aspects. There's the mental aspect, which you just talk about, I fancy it. And then there's the physical aspect, which is the body asking for food. If you're not, should we say, fueling at the right times, then your you know your body was is asking is it's actually saying look I need food I need food that could be um, that could be um, confused with craving. Now obviously convenience is key these days. Everyone's in a rush. Everyone's running around like a glass fly. So like you'll grab something you think oh I fancy it, I'll just have that. Is it quick and it's easy? There's not particularly a, you know a huge array of you know if you go into say a BP garage or Mark Spencer's garage. And there's a rut, there's a there's a, a, a an aisle as far as the eye could see of Mars bars and bounties and Turkish lights and all them kind of things. And then you get to the thing and on top of the, the counter there's a little thing of like a peanut bar or a naked eye. And there's just as many cans, but they're deemed healthy and it's just tucked in the corner. And like, you know, sometimes it's put behind a charity box or put by you know, whatever they're advertising for more stuff on the amazing aisle. But if you think right, so if you fuel at the right times, it will eliminate snacking. Not eliminate snacking completely, because I like snacking. I think snacking's great. Snacking can be used if you've missed a meal. Snacking can be used to bridge a meal. Snacking can be used to just keep the brain that's craving food. Like, you know, I say to people, if you haven't had a snack in the evening, you fancy something, and you've done your walks and you've been on plan, mate, you have something that you enjoy. Okay? And and, and all of a sudden, like, this crap is, oh, just... And then what, you know, they're like... Often people come and see me in my face, time in my office, and they're like, oh, I just can't stop craving food. And they've got into this cycle where now they've convinced themselves, because other plans have told them how bad it is, that this craving for stuff they like is really, really bad. Then you get the guilt cycle again. Guilt attached to food, mate, you're in a minefield, okay? Now remember, physically or mentally. Mentally, you fancy something, you're craving it, you go, oh, do you know what I really fancy? I really fancy the Twix or you know, a curly whirly or something like that, and then there's the thing where you, you, you've you not eaten at the right times, or you've, you know, or you've maybe trained a little bit too hard, or you just misjudged a few things, and your body's asking for food, and you think, no, oh, I'll, I'll just grab that. If you can, if you can recognise both of these, yeah, one, you can stop the physical side by eating well, yeah, balanced meal, eating your meals at the right times, you know, as best you can, as best you can, remember, yeah, drinking enough water, uh, keeping yourself hydrated, you know, doing all the right things, and the the, the second is um, mentally craving, where you just think, oh look, sometimes you feel, oh fancy them, I'm gonna have it, yeah, I'm gonna have it, yeah, because you know, there's there's days where it's no different. You think, oh fancy a pint, or oh fancy a thing, and you put you see, some people have made it into this big thing, saying, oh I'm really, I was just craving chocolate. I don't know what was wrong, I was craving chocolate. You go. No, you fancy a bit of chocolate, but it's been made into such a big thing these days. You have to appease your own guilt to people. You have to project into people by saying, oh, I just didn't know what to do. I was craving. I was literally tearing up my own skin, so I had a fucking Kit Kat. You know, like, it's not that bad, is it? You know, and then people eat and they're like, oh, and then they'll tell you about it for the rest of the day, how they had to have that Kit Kat, how they had to have that Kit Kat. And that's how much guilt there is attached to certain things. And like, until you really recognise it, you won't notice that you're doing it. And then when you notice that you're doing it, you'll notice so many other people doing it, man. I, I see it all the time. It's hilarious. But I mean, it's it's hilarious and it's quite sad as well, okay? 
there's a lot of plans out there that are that are psychologically damaging towards food that have labelled certain thing snacking as craving like craving is is craving a nice word I don't think it's a very nice word at all no you know what I mean you're just like you know I might say well I was a little bit hungry um, I was a little bit caught cool short I, I, I saw one in my fancy one in my had it and it was really nice not oh I was a little bit short caught short oh, I was feeling I was craving this you know and I ate this chocolate bar although you enjoyed it you now feel the need to tell everyone that you didn't and you feel shit and you shouldn't you know it's just a chocolate bar just buy a small one you don't have to be so dramatic yeah snacking's cool I've done a video on snacking before snacking's on mate you know it, 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 it can help you on a, a, a number of things but remember when you're really fancy so I'm thinking is this physical or is it mental have the best day man